Prime factorization is simply the process of breaking down any composite number into all prime numbers. As a matter of fact, any composite number can be broken down into prime elements. We are going to use the example of 450, which is a composite number, and break that number down into all prime numbers. Some people call the process of prime factorization creating a factor tree. Prime factorization and factor trees are the same thing. It is the process of breaking a composite number down into all prime numbers. When beginning prime factorization, we want to find two numbers that when multiplied will make the number we are trying to break down. Taking a look at 450, we can clearly see that that number ends in a zero. Any number ending in a zero is divisible by 10. So I am going to start off by writing 10 times 45 right underneath 450. The numbers 10 and 45 are still composite numbers. They can be broken down even further. Underneath the number 10, we are going to write 2 times 5. Remember, when writing two numbers underneath a number, those two numbers must be multiplied to make that number. And 45 can be broken down into the numbers 5 times 9, which produces 45. Now at this point, we have broken 450 down into four numbers. Notice at the bottom we have 2 times 5 times 5 times 9. And three of those four numbers are prime numbers. Remember, a prime number is a number that can only be produced by multiplying 1 times itself to make that number. 9 is still a composite number, therefore we can break it down even further. Some people think that if the number is odd, it is prime, but that is not true. There are many composite numbers that are odd numbers. 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. Because 3 is a prime number, we are finished breaking all numbers down into their prime elements. Once you have broken your number into all prime numbers, you should multiply those numbers together and you should get the number that you started with all the way at the top of your factor tree. This is a good way to check if you indeed have the right numbers at the bottom of your factor tree. Multiplying all the numbers that you have at the bottom is kind of like doing a reverse factor tree. You're going backwards to see if you can come up with the number 450. And when multiplying all of these numbers together, we can clearly see that we do come up with a product of 450. After verifying your results, we are going to express our answer using exponential notation. I'm going to start by writing the smallest prime number, which is 2. And because there is only one 2 at the bottom, we are going to write 2 to the first power. But remember, anything to the first power, we don't actually use a 1 for the exponent. We just leave it blank. That means it is to the first power. The next largest prime number is 3. And notice we have two 3's, or 3 times 3. So after the number 2, we are going to write a multiplication sign and then write 3 to the second power. After 3 to the second power, we are going to multiply that by 5 to the second power. So our final answer in exponential notation is 2 times 3 to the second power times 5 to the second power.